Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak Kodash. The honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation and much love to you, Akim, out there pushing out his word and truth and sincerity. And it's uh, another GMS journey, number two. And uh, Lord's will is edifying to the elect. We're just going to go into uh, pretty much Esau. And, uh, and I'll just go ahead and go into that. All right. Uh, so we'll actually uh, get uh, get uh, Psalms 12 and 8 first, and then go to that. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 12, verse 8. It says, The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. And hey, the wicked walk on every side. So everywhere you look, hey, there's wickedness, man. There's a wicked everywhere you look. Because what? Uh, the vilest man is what exalted. Exalted. Yep. And uh, now let's now let's go to Job. Let's find out who who the, who the vilest man is. Beautiful. So so this is gonna be Job chapter thirty, verse eight. It says. Uh, start at like it. Uh, start at. Uh, yeah, I start a little higher. Uh, we'll we'll start at. Uh, we'll start at five. Okay. We'll start at. Uh, uh, let's start at the top. Uh, so yeah, we'll start at the beginning of the, of the chapter. Job chapter thirty. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. And this is speaking about Esau, which we're going to prove here in, in the next couple of scriptures. Go ahead. Yea, where too might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old age was perished? For, for want and famine they were solitary. And if you go into the well, keep it, finish that scripture. Fling into the wilderness in former times desolate and waste. God, if you go into the secular history of, of, of how Esau was pushed up into the wilderness up there in the in the Caucasus Mountains, all right, he was put, he was uh, pushed up to, you know, the um, the uh, George Russia Georgia border, right? Petra and all that. Yep. Yeah. Right. God, who cut up Slack? Cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. Yeah, that's what they were eating because they, they, they were just, you know, they weren't, they were, they were uncivilized at this point, man. They were eating little roots, you know. Yeah, yeah, just shit roots, digging shit, up roots out the ground. Yeah, shit that they could get it up in the up in the mountains. And don't forget, we can't ignore the fact that 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 he said the first verse said um, that I would have to stay to have set with the dogs of my flock. This is a man that is not even worthy. To be around our dogs, because right, you see what he commits. He commits bestiality. He likes to ha have sex with animals. The, their women like to take, you know, rods of donkeys up the ass. You know, go ahead. Back in uh, uh, down to verse five, they were driven forth from among men. And then the, you go into that, into the hit, uh, the history how uh, the Ishmaelites got into the region of Mount Seir. It was because they had pushed them out, man. And not only them, but all the other nations. They pushed them out because they were a bunch of vagabonds, man, a bunch of uh, degenerates, a bunch of lowlifes, all right, thieves. Go ahead. They cried after as after a thief. Yep. So what happens when when the when a city finds a man that's a thief, man? They cry after him. They they chase him out of the town and put him put him to death, man. They try to put him to death, or they chase him away and get him out of here. Yeah. Go ahead. To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys and caves of the earth. And in the rocks, see. So, so now it tell it specifically tells you where he's dwelling: the caves and the rocks and the cliffs of the valley. Now go real quick to Obadiah. Let's see who's who who dwells in the cliffs of the rocks. Let's find out. And then the caves. That's why you get the term caveman, which the, the word Caucasian goes back to cave dweller. That's plain and simple. Go ahead. Obadiah verse three: The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou that dwelleth in the cleft of the rock. Well, let's start at verse 1, yeah, yeah, just so we get that idea of what we're talking about here. So this is um, Obadiah verse 1. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, concerning Edom. Yeah, exactly, concerning Edom. So the whole book of Obadiah is concerning Edom. Go ahead. All right. Um, skip it back down to verse 3. Okay. Uh, back in verse 3, is so concerning Edom. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rock. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks. And I go jump back to Job. So now we've established who dwells in the clefts of the rocks, which is Edom, Esau, the so-called self-proclaimed white man, right? The red Hebrew Edomite. 
That's the one that well, he even calls himself a Caucasian man. It's not for no reason that he calls himself a Caucasian. Yeah, you 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 know, people use that word but don't really understand where that word comes from. Yep. All right. That doesn't mean white. Okay. <laughs> no, it, it's far from it actually. It, it means cave dweller. Yeah. It has nothing to do with white being white. All right. Dark white. The, the term white didn't come about until um. Yeah, okay. Um. Until the late 1600s, all right. They put that 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 term on the on themselves. Go ahead. Uh, Job 30 verse 6: To dwell in the cliffs of the uh, valleys, yep. in the caves of the earth, the caves of the earth, and where and where what caves were they dwelling in? All right, even in Mount Seir. <laughs> Take a look at the 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 architecture of Mount Seir of Petra. All right, and then look at the the Greek the Greeks architecture, the Romans and America's architecture. Go ahead. And in the rocks. Yep. And that's why they build everything with concrete. Tall ass buildings made of concrete. Skyscrapers. They want to be at the top floor. Go ahead. Verse seven. Among the bushes they braid. Mm -hmm. Braid like a donkey, man. They had, you know, they were uncivilized. That's why when they show these cavemen movies and whatnot, they're just like, oh, oh. they're praying. They're grunting, man. They had no language. English is not their language. They had no language. They lost their language, man. Because they were probably, they were most likely speaking Hebrew when they were chased away, and then they became such low level. Uh, uh, the Lord literally brought them such onto such a low level that they would just wear their clothes until it deteriorated, didn't bathe, you know, and just could, they had no way of communication. They were like monkeys, man, chimps. As a matter of fact, a chimpanzee was smarter than an Edomite at this time, man. Go ahead. God. It says under the nettles they were gathered together. They were children of fools. Children of fools, because he saw Edom as a fool, man. Go ahead. Yea, children of base men. Children of base men, meaning the lowest you can go, because when you have a base man, what is that? It's under the house, man. It's as low as you can go. They're base. The base man is Esau Edom, the bottom of the, uh, of the barrel, the scum of the earth. Go ahead. It says... It says they were viler than the earth. So, so now we know that they were viler than the earth. So the vile is talking about Esau, Edom. So now go back to that Psalms 12. This is, the, this is back in the book of Psalms, chapter 12. To the end, it says verse 8. It says the wicked walk on every on every side. Yep. When the vilest men are exalted. That's right. The vilest men are exalted. And now we understand who who is being exalted. It's Esau Edom, man. He's the one in possession of the earth. He's the one in the rule. So he's the one being exalted. All right? Because everybody looks up, to, looks up to Esau. Everybody looks to Esau for answers, man. And that's why you see wickedness everywhere. Because the, 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 the vilest man is exalted. All right? The base man. But what? The Lord is ultimately going to take them out of power, man. All right, uh, you got anything? If not, you can go to Sirach uh, 10. It's Sirach 10. Yeah, so in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10, and any particular verse? Uh, uh, you can start at, uh, yeah, start, let's see. Uh, start at, uh, start at a 2. Yeah, yeah, typically where I start. Okay. Um, so, Sirach chapter 10, verse 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, and what manner of man? Kind of so if Esau is a vile person, so is, is the people under him going to be? All right, so so is all the people that he commands, so to say, his military and his government system. They're all going to be vile and, and brute beasts, just like him. Right, because uh, what Esau is the judge of, is the judge right exactly. now. Exactly. He, 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 hey, everybody follows a leader. You got to lead by example, and if he's leading by, in wickedness and, and and being a vile, then that's what everybody else is going to follow after. So it says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. Mm -hmm. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. That's right. Plain and simple. If, if it was the leaders of, 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 of the, the beast system or vile, wicked men, well, guess what? Anybody that's under the beast system is going to be the same way. That's why you had, look at America, for, for, for Christ's sake, man. <laughs> it's a bunch of brute beasts living in America, man. Because what? The people that are leading it. All right, beginning with the elite of Esau, man. Those are the farthest men on the earth. Go ahead. An unwise king destroyeth his people. Mm -hmm. But through the prudence of them that are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of... Um, we're going to read this 
last part. Yeah, good, good on four. Yep. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. Yep. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. Yeah, so in due time, the Lord is going to set up one that is profitable. The opposite of the vilest. The opposite of wicked. The opposite of base. All right? The, he, the Lord is going to set up righteousness. All right? The, the, the top, the cream of the crop of, of all creation, you know? Of all, of all man, go to um, I think it's like verse eight or something. Or, let me see. Because of yeah, eight. Yep. And we'll close out now unless you get something else. It says uh, okay, so Sirach chapter ten verse eight. Because of our righteous dealings. Now you're saying this is something a, vi a vile man would do, a wicked man, a base man, which we already established who that is. This is something that they would do and they have done. Go ahead. Injuries. And riches got by deceit. How did how did uh, how did the self-proclaimed white man get America? How did he get Euro? How did he get? Well, just take a look around the earth. He everything. He named the lands after himself. You know, he did all this wickedness, and that's how he got this land, especially America, man. The Americas, I'll say that, and the Caribbeans. Go ahead. And riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. Yeah, so it's going to be translated from the, the vilest of men, vilest men, to the to the righteous man. It's going to be translated from there, the Edomites, unto the to the Israelites, man. Like uh, the Second Ezra six and nine says, man, the, the end of the world. Man, it, 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 you, you gonna get it? Yeah. Nah, go ahead. Just a second. Second Ezra chapter six. I'll start at seven. It says, then then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Oh, when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? It's a question. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Plain and simple. Go ahead. You want to break it down? Yeah, God. Because what? We understand that Esau, now, now we are, we know who Esau is the wicked, okay? We know Esau is the vilest, the basis of men, okay? And it says Esau is the end of the world, and that and Esau being the so-called white man, the self-proclaimed white man, all right? He is the end of the world, and guess what? He's ruling the earth right now. That's the man that's ruling the earth, the, the one that's the, that, that, that is viler than, than the earth, okay? The basis of men, all right? The wicked. He is the end of the he is the end of the world, and guess what? He is ruling right now. And then it says after that, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So we understand that the end of the world doesn't mean the end of the planet Earth. It means the end of this rulership, the end of an era, end of an age. Eon. Yep. And Jacob is is, is going to be the ruler of the next as the, of the next age, and that age is going to be forevermore. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and Jacob is the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Of course, the confusion of faces that look like other nations but stem from those. All right, so Jacob is going to be the be beginning of the next kingdom, which is going to be ruled right out of Yahweh Shai. So we looking forward to that. And that's why back in uh, in um, Sirach chapter ten, it was saying that in due time it's going to be given to one that is profitable. All right, starting with Yahweh Shai, and of course the the Israelites. So we know that this is the prophecy. We have to have patience that 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 we're doing the right thing, and that we have to endure this man's rulership. And in due time, the Lord is going to put a, a profitable ruler over the earth. Okay? And it's going to happen. It's going to happen in violence. Because this kingdom is going to fall in violence. All right? That's with violence how Babylon be thrown down, man. And Babylon is the is the excellency of the Chaldees, man. All right? This is the, the, the glory of their kingdom, America. This is the height of their kingdom, America. This is it. And look at this place. This shit, we, you know, we... we <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, just know this place is finished, man. We, we see some shit that's just straight up. No, fuck it, man. Let's say it. Yeah, man. We went to. We was in New Orleans. We was in New Orleans. Yeah. We was in New Orleans this moment. You gotta, you gotta say, New Orleans is a world-renowned city. All right, people flock from over the planet, fucking Earth, to go to this goddamn place. And so we, we, we never been there before. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Let's see the big hubbubbers. Let's see place, what all the fuss is about. Let's see what the fuss is about. We go there. That place is a piss hole. Yeah, shit hole. Everything's all fucked up. It stinks. The, the sanitation crews gotta clean the <laughs> cleaning the streets. That is by far the worst, <laughs> dirtiest, disgusting city I've ever seen in my whole entire life. And this Earth. is where people flock to every, damn near every day. People come from all around the world. 
just to smell that fucking shithole, man. We're not even we're not even exaggerating, yeah. and I'm not trying to. We're not we're even trying to be funny. We're understating. Yeah, that. It's an understatement. We're not we're not even trying to be funny. You know, that place is a shithole. I, I that's, it was embarrassing. That's embarrassing just to even be. Uh, you live there. You live in New Orleans. Yeah. We went to the goddamn uh, what you call it Bourbon, Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street, yeah, the famous Bourbon yeah. Street. <laughs> the world right now. Yeah. Bro. People, oh. people go there to celebrate Mardi Gras. I don't see how they can tolerate it, man. I'm not. We couldn't gonna, tolerate it. What? Thirty minutes? No, we were not impressed at if all. <laughs> we were not impressed at all. So that's that's that just shows you that if that's what you is that what the, the height of East Coast Kingdom, uh, a city of like New Orleans, then we really this place really has no no future left. Goes to goes to prove that he's the vilest man. Look at his look at the condition of of his kingdom, and this is supposed to be the height of, of his kingdom, man. Unbelievable, you know. I mean, it, it it's funny just to look at it, but you know, yeah. we're not gonna continue to talk about it. That's it. We just we just letting you know that it's proving a point, proving a point. You know, well, it, you know, we read the scriptures. We just want to prove that point because, man, it, it it's funny, man. But at the same time, it's it's sad. Yeah, it really is. That, that our people want to remain in this place because yeah, there's a lot of jakes there, you know. Yeah. But you know, with that, you know, we're gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Double honors to our elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule and teach well. Salutations to the brothers that push this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom to your sisters that listen to meekness, quietness, and humbleness. And more off, love above all. Shalom.